Amina here. Are you wondering, you seem to be trying everything and you're not losing weight, you're frustrated, you've carried this weight for a very long time and you're wondering what might be the problem. So this topic today is the key to why most people and maybe you, yes, you are not losing weight. So let's get into the video. <music> Like I always say, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm just someone who has lost weight and I've learned a few things. And I always say before you try anything that is recommended, please consult your doctor or your nutritionist. So today's video is about something that was very eye-opening for me when I started my weight loss journey and it's something that I'm constantly learning about and it's um, very important that you, uh, since you're on, weight, on a weight loss journey, you learn about this topic and how it, it's going to help you. Drum rolls. Today's video is about insulin resistance. If you follow me and you always uh, listen to my videos or when I talk, I always talk about blood glucose, insulin. So what is insulin resistance? And this is the reason why most people are overweight or you're struggling to lose weight. So what is insulin? Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas that is used to, uh, the, the use of uh, insulin in the body is to control the blood glucose. So what is insulin resistance? Insulin resistance is when you have, um, constantly you keep on producing insulin, insulin, insulin. And I'm going to get into um, why you're constantly producing insulin. So some of the uh, uses of insulin, the insulin hormone in the body is that it feeds the cells with fuel, helps you store blood glucose, uh, store sugar in form of glycogen in, in, the, in the liver and the muscles, converts excess sugar into fat in the liver and specific in the belly area. So that is some of the uses of insulin when you come to insulin resistance so typically when you eat or when you your lifestyle is full of eating um or you're used to eating high carbs or carbohydrate foods they are broken out down into glucose or sugar so when they're broken down into uh, uh sugar your blood um your blood sugar rises whenever you eat carbs so the insulin is produced by the pancreas to try and bring down the insulin to bring down the blood glucose in the bloodstream so it's like um the other the reason why the use of insulin is that it's used to bring the blood glucose so there's a situation which is the insulin resistance is whereby your um when the insulin when the blood glucose goes high your insulin comes takes the blood glucose and puts it in the cells so that it can be used for energy but there's a situation whereby the cells are not readily available to receive the glucose so you have when you eat you spike your blood glucose you spike your insulin to try and bring it down but now the glucose is not being used so your bloodstream is full of uh blood glucose or glucose or sugar and then the insulin is is um being produced so every time there's high in, uh, levels of blood glucose in the system the insulin is just produced it's produced it's produced it's produced so that's a situation called insulin resistance so insulin resistance or insulin as the hormone is the fat storage hormone let's take a moment fat storage hormone so when i say that is that you know that excess blood glucose is converted into sugar in the liver or the excess of it is then converted into fat so look at this situation you eat you have high glucose uh high blood glucose you have high insulin so your body never gets to a point where you burn your um in the presence of insulin, no fat burning can happen. So when you have high uh, blood glucose, your body tends to reach out for the glucose in the bloodstream for energy and will never get to a point where you're going to use the store fat. So you continue storing fat, you continue burning the glucose that you're eating, you get to a point that you continue adding weight and you're not uh, burning your body fat for energy. So we need to get to a situation where we lower the insulin we lower the blood glucose, meaning we don't eat carbohydrates. In That will will mean that we lower our insulin. And then the insulin, when there is no insulin in the body, the body goes for the um, 
blood glucose in the system and then when it finishes it it now goes to your fat in your uh in your body that's when you're going to see drastic weight loss so um that is the situation where most people uh suffer and then how would you know that you have ins high uh, you have insulin resistance some of the symptoms symptoms of insulin resistance including include body abdominal fat uh, fat around your midsection, swollen ankle, because um, when you have high blood glucose in the cis, in the uh, in the system, it means that your insulin is being told uh, your your kidney is being told to take to pro, uh, to release more water, so that in a way to try and release the excess blood glucose in the system. You feel hungry after eating. That's another symptom. You have sugar cravings, and then you have dark skin patches. Frequent urination, excess thirst, you feel like drinking water every time. And then you have skin tags on your necks and in your armpits. You also have elevated blood glucose. So these are the, some of the symptoms um, that show that you have high insulin or you have insulin resistance. So um, just to recap, when you eat carbs, you, uh, you shoot your blood glucose, then your insulin goes up. To try and shove or put the blood glucose into the cells for energy but insulin resistance is a situation where you have uh you constantly eat carbs so your blood glucose is in is uh on the high and then excess glucose is all or insulin is always always produced so that it tries to bring down so how do we deal with this, this situation and this is where you're going to see miracles when i say miracles i'm going i'm saying you're going to see fat loss fat loss fat loss is when your body now breaks down the excess glucose in the body and then now you don't have more glucose then it goes to your fat and breaks down your fat to now energy so that your body can use it and that's when you're going to see the body shaping up so what is the solution for insulin resistance number one fasting 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 it's very simple when you don't eat you have lower blood glucose, your body uses the stored glucose in the liver, and then uh, when it's done and you require more energy, it now goes to your fat um, fat cells and breaks down the fat into sugar, then you use it. So fasting, fasting, fasting. In fact, fasting, 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 fasting. The second is, of course, going on a low-carb or ketogenic diet. When you don't eat carbohydrates, that's a plus because you carbs break down into sugar so you won't spike your blood glucose. So those are the two situ solutions for insulin resistance. Let's get to how do you know that you're treating your insulin uh, uh, resistance by when you go on a low carb or when you do intermittent fasting. The, one, the number one symptoms is that your hunger goes, like you don't feel hungry anymore because now your body is moving from uh, using sugar as the energy, source of energy to now using your fat. Uh, your belly fat is shrinking. My sisters, my girlfriends, tumbo, your midsection, you, you start having snatched waist. And then lowered blood pressure, high blood pressure, or it's, a, it's caused by high uh, sugar or high insulin in the, in the body. So good blood glucose, that's when, we, when you measure your blood glucose, you're going to see it's going to be on a normal, which is between 80 to 100 milligrams or deciliters in you. That means like one, tip, one teaspoon of sugar per um, an average one and a third gallons of blood. So you need technical, but just know you have lowered uh, blood glucose and then you don't have no down phenomenon this is when you wake up um you when you the people who test their blood glucose they the down phenomenon is that when you wake up you have you have high glucose levels in the system so that is number one um that's an, a symptom or that's a situation where we call a down phenomenon and then you have increased energy weight loss and then you have you are satisfied when you eat and then you don't of course get the hunger uh craving so um so like just to recap you fast you do ketogenic diet that's when you're going to see um you healing with the insulin resistance um if you have any other question or if you want to find any other information google is your friend just uh, go find out more information, but just know if you have if you have the symptoms that are said, and then you find out that you have insulin resistance, just do intermittent fasting. Um, you can start with 13 hours all the way. You build up, and then you do a low carb ketogenic diet. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the feedback. Comment. Tell me what you guys think. If you have a question, and thank you for all the love. Bye bye.